What's up guys, Opax here. Before I get started with today's uh, series, which it's going to be NCBS versus Flood USA. It's a very, very old series in terms of it was about seven months ago. That's just, I'm throwing a guess out there. It was a while ago. And uh, before I get into that, I got to recap or reiterate what's going on with me. I'm probably not going to stream much anymore, let alone uh, put, you know, things up on YouTube. Might not even be playing Warcraft in general much. And here's why. I am going to truck driving school soon. In fact, I start Monday. I quit my job today. And uh, I'm changing my career path so I can start making some fucking money. And uh, I'm not going to have much time in terms of Warcraft. Because I'm going to be out on the road one to two months at a time before I even come home for a couple days. So it's going to be a big change for me, and I just want to let you guys know what's going on before I start this. It's not that I'm going to say, fuck Warcraft, you know, who knows, maybe there's going to be downtime, I'll have a laptop, I'll be in hotels, I don't know. But as of right now, I'm not entirely sure how much Warcraft I'm about to be affiliated with uh, in the upcoming months. So let's go in with this game. We got... NCBS versus Flood USA. We got game one. This is a best of five, I think. And we got NCBS spawning as his typical night elf uh, race versus Flood USA, which I don't know who the fuck this is, but he showed up one day and he played well and. Basically, I like the series. I don't remember the series. I remember who won. Ultimately, but I don't remember the series and I just remember that I was like, you know what? I got to cast this at some point and of course me being the douchebag. I am I'm like, eh, I'll put it off put it off be a little bit of you know playing that bullshit game But here we go. We got spawning as the blue human. We have flood USA I think this was before the latter resets Or maybe we were talking about it back then Alright, so, typical opening for NCBS, we have typical, uh, he's just going to creep this out with an archer and a probably a demon hunter, a warden, we do have a warden, and with that warden, we're going to see a lot of, I assume, shadow strikes, and with shadow strikes, we can really focus down that archmage pretty easily, even if it was a mountain king, a paladin, uh, but definitely much easier with an Archmage. You only have like 475 hit points out of the gate. And with that being said, with that low hit points on that Archmage and that Shadow Strike from the Warden, this could be a very quick game. I don't know how long it is. It's going to be. Again, this has been a long time since uh, not only I casted the game, but since I casted a game as in uh, a decent one versus one. So NCBS coming in, see what item he gets, I don't assume he's going to last shot unless he's chatting too much. So NCBS saying that he just got into this game in 2010, and I think Flood USA was saying something along the lines of, I haven't played since 2010. So we'll see what's going to happen here, we got old school versus new school. Uh, someone who hasn't played in a long time, of course that's going to be a downfall, he might, yep he killed the creep. Oh. Yeah, you kill the creep with his Ancient of War, or else he would have had a little bit more experience. So he's not going to get level 2 if he creep. He shouldn't get level 2 if he creeps that out. Uh, he has his Wisp over here, might get a Panda later, who knows what his plans are. Uh, as I showed you earlier, this is the full creep camp right there, in terms of experience. So this Warden will not get level 2 off this camp, and this is going to set him back a little bit. It's not going to be drastic, but it's going to set him back in terms of, this is generally where the Warden wants to send off a few flames, or not flame strikes, shadow strikes towards that Archmage, and do it some damage, because the more damage you have on that Archmage, the less he's going to feel happy creeping hard camps, uh, the less chance he's going to do much. But this could have been an easy, easy expansion opportunity. I'm not sure if that's what he's going to do. He has four pet uh, militia. And it looks like, yes, that is what he's going to do. There's going to be a wisp, wisp scout. Might scout the expansion attempt. Um, 
And now that this Ancient of War is tanking over here, you can easily train up some merc mercenaries. And uh, possibly after this camp, might pull some and do some pressure. See what item he gets. He has that glove of haste. It's not the greatest item on a warden, but because it is an agility hero, that attack just keeps hitting and hitting and hitting. And uh, here we go with some harassment of the Archmage. And this is good timing because his, uh, not only is his expansion going up, he is applying a lot of pressure to that priest, and that priest should go down. One more hit by the Archmage. Boom. Um, could take down some archers as well. Uh, yep. Another archer goes down at the hand of a footman. Um, archer doing a lot of damage, of course, with that uh, Circle of Nobility and that Claws of plus six. Doing a, a lot of extra damage with that Archmage, and you don't really expect a lot of damage by that Archmage. Don't expect it. But as you can see, that, that damage is like a Warden damage right there. And Warden doesn't do a lot of damage, but you know what I'm trying to say. Perhaps pick up that boost speed. Um, going after the right unit here, and that's good. It's definitely going to get that footman kill. Um, this uh, Berserker definitely going to get away. Level 3 on that Warden. Archmage is level 2. But that Archmage is buying time. Um, should be teching at this point. Uh, could pull that tech right now. And uh, that Warden really doing a good job here in terms of stopping that human from doing too much. Um, now, of course, he lost a Shadow Priest and an Archer. And maybe that Berserker, and I just totally missed it. Where the fuck's that Berserker? Oh, there it is. See, and that's exactly what I was talking about. Level 2 Shadow Strike on that Archmage, just one of them in a couple strikes. That's half his hit points. Gone. More than half of his hit points. Gone. And with that said, all he has to do is blink in, do it again, and that Archmage is fucked. He has to either use a Town Portal and maybe even still die with that plus 30, you know, minus 30 damage every second. Um, still no Wisp Scout, as I can see. Maybe he did Scout because there was a Wisp off over here. I don't see him anymore. Um, boost the speed of his own. He has staff of teleportation now. Two very good items on Warden. Um, let's see if he pressures it right here. You can easily take down that tower if you know the peasants aren't paying attention. Opting to go towards his mate. I wonder if he has enough mana for this. Archmage will get level 3 and it's exactly what the doctor ordered. Archmage, in a little bit of trouble, but gets away. Definitely getting that pri uh, priest peasant kill. A lot of range units coming here. Um, I assume Footman has defend at this point, but who knows? Uh, but a lot of peasants might go down, but at the hands of what? All the archers? He's not moving his archers, so I assume that he's going to let all his archers die just to get some experience from those peasants. That was a bad engagement for NCBS. Uh, however, at this point, I'm thinking, okay, well, what's next? Dryads and bears? Or is he just going to focus on the Archmage, which he should have probably done the second that he popped out? Uh, this this warden goes almost goes down, but on the fucking sheep! Slipped up on the sheep and died. Uh, will the Archmage go down? The Archmage survives by the bare minimum. He picked the perfect time to TP, because if he did not TP at that moment, he would have died. Perfect TP. Archmage survives, and I assume he has a shop down here. And now there's a shop over here, so I wonder what NCBS's uh, thing is here, because he's going to train up this word. It's going to take a while. He's not going to have the resources to get that second hero up. So if there's no second hero, there is nothing that the Night Elf player is doing but just buying time. Now that this Archmage is level 3, and I assume tier 2, he is picking up his Mountain King. And that Mountain King is going to go a long way. 
that mountain king can focus units. It might not focus dryads, but everything else focused. Hope you guys don't mind them sipping the juice tonight. And it's rather early. I don't even know what time it is. It's freaking 3.30 in the afternoon. <laughs> and I'm drinking. Well, I wake up at 3.30 in the morning, so it only makes sense. But like I said earlier, I quit my job. And me quitting my job basically entails that I ain't waking up at 3.30 in the morning tomorrow. Know what I mean? Archers will go down. There's no way that archer's going to survive unless he really missed micros here. He could have easily boosted speed, but then again, that archer isn't, you know, griffins. Griffins, griffins. I think I'm just trying to figure out, okay, griffins it is. Griffins will do a lot of damage because, if you know anything about NCBS, he likes them bears. I don't see any bears right now. It's still going ranged. And he only has one inch in a lore. That's not producing shit. How does he have that much supply? Warden will go down. Warden goes down. This is uh, basically feed time for the Mountain King and Archmage. Um, glaive Thrower? I don't expect the Glaive Thrower to be doing much in this scenario. There's a lot of range, so the idea was right from NCBS. He's switching up. He's not doing a standard Bears thing, which he loves to do if you don't know him. So now he's backing out because there is Moonwell still in play and that Warden has so much time to, to go. He might as well just take this time and get his Mountain King stronger to ensure the win. Plus, he's waiting for these uh, Griffins. And when these Griffins start producing, it's actually going to be Dragonhawks. Dragonhawks versus Archers and Berserkers and stuff? I don't think that's the right call. You know, but Griffins would have done the trick. Because Griffins actually do this thing called DP damage per second. Has much stronger attack power, but he is going to transition to Griffins. And yes, he is. So that's what it's going to be. He has his uh, Dragonhawks. I think that was just to shove things out before he got his Tier 3. And his Tier 3 probably just popped up. Um, let's see if he's getting the upgrade here. He doesn't have the Lumber, and that's to be expected. He's trying to use up all his resources over here. <clears throat> and this is a little bit of pressure here. He doesn't even have his hero out. Uh, this is a bluff coming from NCBS. He can get wrecked right now. But he's definitely, um, Blood USA is definitely waiting for those Griffins. And I don't know who wanted Griffins being the meta versus Night Elf. I don't think Griffins was the right counter. Um, Dryads and Archers themselves will fuck up Griffins, let alone Dragonhawks, let alone, you know, you could go Hippos. So, um, I don't think that was the right tech switch. I think maybe Griffins and Knights could be nice. Again, that's something that resources are going to entail. If he's busy repairing, he's not going to get much done. Uh, but then again, still like exactly what I said, there is no Warden. The Warden is finally out and he's going to lose units here. But at what hand? Berserker goes down, that was a DPS unit from the Night Elf, minus this one obviously. Uh, Archmage being quickly focused, where is that Paladin? There's a Paladin, able to heal up that Archmage. And now that Paladin is just going to heal up that Mountain King now. So bad focus going down from NCBS, he's just losing everything at this point. Uh, finally focusing the right unit, which was that Paladin. Should have focused him from the beginning, and a nice staff right there, saving his hero. Uh, that Mountain King is in danger, I think a little more than that Warden. Unless he lets his Warden die. That Bash proc was perfect, I think he was expecting to blink out of it, but he didn't get it in time. Good game. So that Tri-Hero, a couple Griffins, a few Dragonhawks, won that game. Don't ask me how, because that would have never happened again with me against NCBS. So Flood USA dominating game one. 
Uh, killed that warden how many times? We guys check that out. Okay, three hero kills from Flood USA. Killing that warden three times against NCBS, which I can tell that he wasn't on his on the ball that game. But here we're gonna go into game two and see what happens. NCBS is a great player. Don't let that game take you down and say, "Well, he wasn't as good as I thought he was." Bullshit. Game two, NCBS versus Flood USA taking place on Tarana Stand. Find me, I'm over here. And we have Flood USA. So again, a standard build from the Night Elf NCBS, aka Reclusive, aka Hack Slayer. And we have Flood USA. Don't know him. Obviously playing great if he can take down NCBS. It doesn't look like extremely good play from either player. So it wasn't like Hawk versus Sonic or something. But it was good nonetheless in terms of he was able to take down uh, our clan's perhaps best player, NCBS. So we're going to check out game two. Standard opening from both players, Scout Farm. We have the uh, Ancient of War over here, about to take down this Renegade Wizard, get a good item, get level two, after it creeps one of these guys out. Um, not sure why that Wisp Scout is there. Um, maybe he's planning on making another Ancient of War right there? You know, and that seems like to be his thing. You know, you creep out one, then you creep out the other one, hopefully that has time to go up, and then uh, get level two, level three, and get strong. Let's see what heroes are going to happen this time. Warden again. I think he's putting up uh, an intention to take down the Archmage this time. That's my assumption. Of course you go Archmage on this map if you don't know. S very rarely you'll see Mountain King on this map. We'll, we'll see what kind of... And a lot of players don't do this. And I'm just noticing this now because I never even thought about it. If you put a farm there, your Archmage is not going to pop out there. And that's like the roughest spot. As a human player, I, was, I used to always get so pissed at that spot. Because my Archmage will always go there. You'll, you'll put him here. You know, you'll right click it right here to come out here. But it's still popping out in that, between those fucking trees. And you'll never get out. So here we go. Easily taking down that Renegade Wizard with the help of Militia. Uh, now that Water Elemental is getting tanked pretty perfectly. I should have witnessed how he did that. I'm not sure what he's doing here. He's chasing a wisp. Uh, so we have a good item. Ring of Protection. That actually does help him in the scenario of the Warden. Now a lot of people say, it's just a Ring of Protection, sell it. But against a Warden, that is a hero that is going to be focusing down near Archmage, and you want as much armor as possible, slash hit points, slash you name it. I mean, on that Archmage, it's very important to have these two items against a Warden. You know, this is health, this is why he has 550 health instead of 500, I think, or 475, no, I don't know, in that ring protection, does wonders, 6 armor, now Damage reduction, 25%. 20, that's a quarter of the damage reduction. And against a Warden, you're going to need that. Now, good items on that Warden. This old, Warden just sold his TP, so he might do a, a bit of a all-in. Not an all-in, but he might do a, a lot of pressure. Um, he has a Staff of Teleportation, which makes his other units very vulnerable if he gets into a, you know some trouble. And here comes the expansion. Flood USA doing the same old thing. He's not getting uh, harassed by any means. So he's taking this opportunity to just, uh, you know, increase his uh, field play. And just getting more workers and delay his tech a little bit. Of course, NCBS, not delaying his tech. He needs his tier 2 slash tier 3 slash get his warden buffy as possible. And that's exactly what you see. Now, I'm not entirely sure why he has that item. I would have sold that item, because that's 
like 150 gold or something? 200 gold? No. Maybe 150 gold? It's a decent amount of gold you get out of this. I would have sold that. I always sell that when I get it. Not always. If I was undead, that's crucial. But other than undead, if you're human, you get cells from your shop. For cheaper, you can sell this and buy those cells and you'll get more hit points, same amount of mana, for cheaper. So this I sell all the time. So old school saying NCBS will win, but we will find out because he tried this uh, type of thing earlier. Okay, very good by Flood USA. This is a very good play. Um, he's not really doing much in terms of damage. Uh, that warden's just there to be there. In our boots. This guy was like in our clan and playing Warcraft for like a week. Ah. Oh, that's a good unit to have against archers. That unit tears archers apart, let alone all these units do. Um, losing more, um, feeding Flood USA. So this is really weird to see this. Uh, that might have been level 2 Fan of Knives. Yeah, that's level 2 Fan of Knives, I believe. Don't quote me. I think it's 70, then 120, right? Or like 140? What, what was it like 130 or something? 130. 70, 130, like 210. Don't quote me. No, no, the final one's 225. Alright, a little bit of defense here coming from Flood USA. We got those towers going up. If he defends this expansion from a warden, very important. Now his main, yeah, I was about to say, you better get some towers in that main, because that warden is level 3, and you got to expect him to come hit. Um, he's... Flood USA has not killed that warden this time. He's being very much protective. I think, uh, technically, a very good fan of knives, by the way. Technically, he is a little, uh, in terms of defeat, uh, it broke him a little bit, so he has to overwhelm him with the freaking warden. Um, of course, the warden doesn't do any magic damage against the shredder, but that shredder is a very powerful unit in home defense when it comes to one. Uh, hero. For example, even if that Blade Master was going after that unit, it couldn't die. Why? Because you got workers, and those workers repair that unit. And when that unit gets repaired, that unit doesn't die. So that's very good home defense. Um, a lot of pros get it and then don't get it. And, and sometimes I'm always like, you could have gotten that unit, but you ended up getting three more peasants instead to save you your wood. But this would have provided you so much more wood. That, uh, actually, I don't know the reasoning. That's my thought process on it, is that you save wood. Because that's 100 wood that fucking three peasants would have been, you know, in, not to mention this unit is way more important than three peasants anyways. Very expensive unit. It's like a frostworm. I look at it as like it costs a frostworm to get this. So it's not reasonable at times, but if you have an expansion, it's you want Someone was saying something about Panda being underrated. Warden quickly getting that uh, magic taken out of it. Um, again, with all this range, I don't know what all this range is for. Against Footman? They don't even have to fend, and that's not good for the human. Why is the human fighting right now? It's just. Dry, it won't go down. So instead of Shadow Strike this time, he's thinking on, uh, in terms of Fan and Eyes, taking down multiple units, because he thought that, okay, he's going to get a lot of uh, footmen and militia, and that might be the fuck up point for him. 
Uh, now, this was kind of smart because footmen and militia aren't that fast. So, yeah, of course he can get back pretty easily. He could sell his Tom Portal. That was actually pretty smart. But he's going Glaives again. So he's doing a bunch of ranged units and very powerful ranged units and at that. It ain't no mortar team, but it, it's like a mortar team for Nido. Warden, very powerful, got some extra uh, intelligence and agility, and then the Gloves of Haste does a lot of damage. Now, if he was tier 3, which he is not going, um, he would definitely have that Orb of Venom, and that Orb of Venom could have been GG. But of course, that's me playing, but he's doing that tier 2 pressure, got to stop that expansion, because if I stop that expansion, he has no units. And that's how he's thinking, he has no units. I just need to keep pumping archers and fuck up this base. Okay, he has a couple heroes and he's doing a lot of damage to that warden. Stop the blink attempt. But now his archers need to come back. I think he's going to try to pad. Um, but he padded extremely badly. Um, oh! And that warden's in bad shape. And he still used that Bananize. That was well played by NCBS, knowing what kind of damage output a hero's uh, level 1 hero. And then that Archmage really doesn't do much damage. But he does have Claws, which will give him almost 40 damage at, at a high. So 33 to 39 damage. Which isn't much. Even coming close to level 4, that ain't much. So a lot of damage to be had by Flood USA right now. Of course, his heroes need to heal up, and uh, it's going to be a second before he can stop this. This is actually a lot of units right now. He, need, he needs to start focusing on units and stack fast. Uh, definitely need the, the Dryad, because the Dryad's the fuck-up unit. Uh, going those Dragonhawk Riders again! I don't know what kind of old-school game he's playing, but you don't do that against Night Elf. Uh, even in Rain and Chaos days, you don't do that. Because you still have Hippogriffs, Dryads, Archers. Uh, focusing down the Glaive Thrower. So that's his idea. He thinks that he's massing Glaive Throwers right now. So is it worth that to lose all your Dragonox? Just bought that Glaive Thrower that could have been respawned at 210 gold? Is that worth it? I don't know. Okay, so this is free game now for the Night Elf. It's going to be a lot of decent experience. He's level 5 now. He gets level 6. First off, level 5, I call that GG against the Warden already. I mean, if they have the superior numbers, they just took down your expansion. Level 5 Warden, GG. But he's like that much closer to level 6. When he gets level 6, that is official GG. You just fucking leave. You fucking leave. If he knows how to use a Warden, and he is level 6 against you, and your heroes are much significantly lower, uh, 4 and I think 1 or 2, yeah, still 1, any TP with a 3 of them are bullshit, are illusions. Okay, focusing that Warden, but that Warden can blink out, so I don't know why you would focus him instead of all the archers. You don't expect a Night Elf to expand yet because of the amount of units that he's always had against you. So you don't expect him to expand because he would have around the same amount of units as you. So he hasn't expanded yet in terms of your understanding. Why would you go against a Warden? Does it do damage to push him off? Is that what it is? I mean, you did keep your expansion. That is awesome. You kept your expansion. So I, I'm trying to get in the head of him right now because I'm a human player and I'm just now trying to get the fuck out of human because it pisses me off. And I'm a two versus two player. I think it's the worst race two versus two to be as a human. Why? Because you are constantly getting harassed. People love to eat up your peasants and, and steal your kills and fuck up your archmage and I, mean, I gotta get off that so I think I'm going back to my roots which is undead which I don't think I was better 
human player than Undead as it was. Now, don't get me wrong, Undead is a more difficult race to to win sometimes, but it's also a much powerful race when used correctly, and I use it correctly. Whoa. So it is level 6 on, on NCBS's Hero. This is pretty much GG, uh, Fan and Knives. So Fan and Knives really did the trick this time. So Fan and Knives was the right thing to get in terms of against Blood USA. He learned from game 1 and said, I'm going to do Warden again. But you know what I should have done differently? I shouldn't have used Shadow Strike and, and enhanced Shadow Strike as much. What I really should have done was get that Fan and Knives, level 3 fuck up his whole army so you know that he's a expansion getter and he knows that he's a decent player so he was like okay okay motherfucker that's how you play this is what it's gonna be like and fan and Ice is very powerful I think it's uh I don't know how much damage that is. it's a lot of damage you know, it's like a panda breath of fire. You, you don't fuck with that one. Is this a new strat? Yeah, this isn't new. This is ranged units versus human expansion. You know, the only weird thing is that you're going tier 3 air. And that's fucking weird. Tier 3 air. That's against undead. Sometimes you do it against your own human. Rarely you do it against Orc. Some players do it. Generally, they don't get away with it because Orc's always on their ass, and if they see one hippo, uh, one uh, Griffin Rider, they'll take it down and kill it. So you'll never, ever build up them, them fucking units because Orc is a fucking pain in the ass that needs to be, um, you know, it's a very powerful race. It can be because it really restricts your units because they only go the same fucking Raider fucking bullshit. I don't think the Paladin's heal at level 1 is going to be enough for this. Is it Mount King? Mount King is nearing tier 3, or level 3, but that fan and eyes, man. Not to mention, you know, all these invulnerable units right now. Yeah, that's GG. You, you walk away from that game. And CBS, the clear winner of game two. This is a one game to one game uh, matchup. But again, this is a best of five. I think. <laughs> Maybe there was only uh, four games because there's only four games. And I think that's really the case. But Alright, so NCBS, right off the bat, he's going to... Drop down his altar of elders is exactly what you do with any race um, in one verse one. You definitely drop that altar as soon as possible. Flood USA, great game tier, uh, game one, great NCBS. Three hero kills against his warden, kill his warden three times. Game two, different story. We had NCBS, and when NCBS is uh, Why did I say in one verse one on Turtle Rock? NCBS on game two did a fine, fine job. Where is that moon well? Where is that moon well, buddy? You're well behind on a moon well. Where is that fucking moon well? Am I tripping? Fuck out of here. Alright, so. Now we have a standard game Archmage, Demon Hunter. And if you went Warden this time, you would have lost. This is not a map for Warden. Tyrannus Stan is a huge Warden map. Huge Warden map. Uh, but. Yeah, Turtle Rock is not. Even Echo Isles really isn't a Warden map. I mean, it can be, but. Depends on your opponent, but. It really isn't. That's one of those up in the air things like I should go Demon Hunter, but I'll go Warden. You know, just uh, focus on the Archmage and thinking you're playing some noob who hasn't played in a long time. 
All right, so are we going to see the same thing in game three that we saw in game two and one from the human player, which would be fast expand, not fast, but you expand uh, before tier two, and when you do that, you go tier two, go tier three, and then get units. Is this going to be the same game plan from Flood USA this time? We shall see. Because if you go straight tier 3 and we see Griffins again and Hawks, this is going to be a boring game because I think we all see what you do. Um, this is a little bit different because of the matchup and on the map. Um, I think you just picked off one of the experience things, right? Maybe not. I don't think he actually did. I think the Archmage got both of those experience points and the item. So Flood USA doing a great job trying to... You can definitely focus on that unit. Uh, should kill his own unit right there, but didn't. Doing some damage on that Footman. Footman will back away and move around. And, you know, you might get that kill on that Footman, but now you gotta back off. Fast tech this time. So we're looking at tech. And this is really weird. I'm going to explain to you why this is weird as a human player. Because you're creeping with militia. And when you're creeping with militia, you generally don't get that fast of a tech. Uh, blacksmith coming up. So he is doing that tier 2 rifle push. Unless something weird happens. You know, that's what it tells me. A tier 2 rifle push. Definitely going to kill off those two units. And uh, level 2 is granted on that Archmage. With that said, again, a little better against a Warden. Uh, these units are technically not good against a Demon Hunter. Just not good. It's not great, is what I'm trying to say. He's going to get his Boots of Speed, whatever else units he has, or items. Boots of Speed on the Demon Hunter. And he's looking for Tier 2, and he does smell blood he's trying to be a little bit more grassy this time he definitely sees what's going on you can't get in the base actually you could i guess he can he cannot get in that base yeah what the fuck is going on actually that is right up against the wow actually that's that's well positioned Chris archers can do some damage and he says, dick. Well, that's what you get for teching without one tower. All you need is one guard tower. Generally versus Night Elf, and I've learned this, get one guard tower, not one arcane tower. Uh, if you go for a second tower, get one of each. But right off the bat, it's probably going to be a demon hunter, and you don't care about siphoning his mana, because he generally wouldn't harass like that. But he might have some archers or some huntresses, and you want to stop that. Especially huntresses. Get it to car tower. <laughs> this unit will go down. Naga Sea Bitch. So without the dust, he's going to try to, you know, come in here. Finally getting a rifleman? Does he even have a rifleman? He has no rifleman, and he's doing this tier 2 push? It's just strange. I mean, what are you getting out of this? Well, that was an intelligent move right there, and I always love to see intelligent moves, but... Why you're there in the first place is I don't know, buddy. I don't know why you are in this spot over here. Narboots left, connection here, I don't give a fuck. So he has a couple footmen left, but he has one rifleman, and he's just getting the one upgrade. And he should get two more riflemen. Pump pump. He's getting upgrades. He doesn't even have the unit yet. He has one unit, and he's just pumping these upgrades. Get the units first. Get a few of them and then upgrade, or else you're just wasting. You could have like three riflemen right now, but you have one because you're doing all these upgrades. You know? It's like you could be more powerful right now 
if you weren't being so lax, like you have time. No, get, get your fucking unit first. Okay, so here is the big engagement. <clears throat> being a human player, I know that the human's in a rougher spot right now, but he did exactly what he should have done. Backed off, allowed uh, NCBS to get slowed and ensnared, and when he got slowed and ensnared, you have the upper hand also. And with the sorceresses, that's basically saying, jeez, I thought he was going to go down. So now we have Flood USA well in the driver's seat right now because there's no dryads yet. Sure, they're pumping. There's one coming, two coming. So, okay, dryads are out, but riflemen over dryads all day. Uh, but it will stop that slow, and, you know, that's definitely what, what he wants. Now, he might not get level 3 in his Demon Hunter, but he should get level 2 on his Naga. And it looks like he's not going to because he's getting creep jacked. Slowed again on that Demon Hunter. No Dryad dispelling yet. I mean... I, I could have sworn that was one of the upgrades he was getting, right? Oh, still getting trained. Ugh. It's like 3.50 and I'm already getting drunk. <laughs> I call it drunk. I had like three shots of bot or rum. It's not getting drunk. <clears throat> it's starting off your night. Alright, so he's doing the typical human thing where good positioning and a lot of riflemen, range units. Now, riflemen versus archers, it's anyone's game. But as you see, you want Demon Hunter and Dryads. Dryads actually get rocked by riflemen. Not rocked like knights versus dryads, but rocked to the point where riflemen at 20 to 30 damage with 500 something hit points is way better than not even 20 damage and less hit points and take extra damage from piercing unarmored takes extra damage from piercing and siege is that so pit lord from ncbs i gotta admit i don't ever see him throw a pit lord in there did the pit lord save him? Because the pit lord's going down. Archmage goes down. Pit lord goes down. Uh, Demon hunter fresh. So this is not looking good now for Flood USA. Flood USA is looking terrible right now. No, not not terrible. What the fuck am I seeing? Actually, he's doing fine. He's got to start building towers. There it is. Why did I say terrible? I thought there was like bears and stuff. I could have sworn I saw like Druidas of the Claw and I tripped him. I took a second glance, I was like, wait, no, we should stay there. Stay fucking there. Don't fucking move. Alright, so this is happening where uh, peasants are gonna get picked off if that Naga is just gonna be a pest. Arcane Tower, so I assume there isn't a lumber mill. And I assume he's not going to grab one anytime soon, especially how he has no lumber. What is he? What is he? What is he? What is he doing? <laughs> What's his life plan? What's he doing with his life? Alright, so Naga goes down. Very well played by Flood USA. Yeah, this is GG because, again, I think NCBS was like, okay, I'm going to trouble you a little, little bit. Uh, Turtle Rock is definitely human advantage versus Night Elf, so I definitely understand that. Is there a Dispel? No Dispel on the Priest, so he could actually be rocking out there and, and trying to fight, but what, what kind of damage can he do against that, you know? If you go after that Rifleman, that Rifleman's just going to go over here, and then you're fucked. You're, you're just going to take a bunch of damage, and you're not going to kill nothing, because there's such things as two Priests, three Priests, and they're just going to keep healing up 
you know, you want to go after that unit, well, boom, back. Actually, he's going to let him go. Which is really weird. Why, you know, this is basically a last attempt against, you know, the human army. And a few micro, uh, you know, just left clicking a unit and then right clicking it, two of them would have saved all your units. But that demon hunter is getting strong, and he just mana burned us a unit with six fucking mana. But I think he did that because he was getting out of mana burns himself, possibly. And yeah, I can't see him coming back from this. Yet there's still, I'm gonna say there's still a minute and a half left in this game. I'm just trying to figure this out. Like another minute left. So I wonder what, what kind of mistake Flood USA is making or going to make against this army that has no mana to rejuvenate itself. But definitely getting those moon moles out now. I'm going to say there's going to be game four. Flood USA 2 1 M and CBS. I just think NCBS is a sore loser at this point. Tier 2 rifles 1. Tier 2 rifles 1 to 2 sorceress. Personally, I only go 1 sorceress, or at least 1 sorceress is out on the map. And then 2 to 3 priests. And tons of rifles, just as many as I can get. And how many towers I can get in the space. You know, um, generally that's when I'm at least level 3 Archmage and at least level 2 uh, Naga. At least. least. Minimally. Unless I'm, you know, trying to be weird or something. I don't know. Level 2 on the Pit Lord isn't game changing. I don't think this is going anywhere. Uh, he does have the, you know, the Reign of Fire going, but, you know, Naga, no mana. Demon Hunter in a lot of trouble now. Good game by NCBS. Got blocked, he knew it was over. 2-1, Flood USA over NCBS. So, I'm not spoiling it, I'm just throwing facts around. Four games, 2-1, Flood USA over NCBS, out of a best of five. So now, Flood USA goes Night Elf? Is that what I just saw? Instead of going human, he went Night Elf. Like, specifically, not random. He went Night Elf. So, this is typical NCBS. Typical. Tip -a typical. 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 What is he doing? What's he doing? Do you guys know? Oh, I know. Whenever I see NCBS throw more than one wisp over here, I know what the fuck's going on. Do you? Just say goodbye to that move up. Say goodbye to all that shit. Um, this has to retreat right away. But when you throw all your eggs in one basket like that, You know, I love it. I love that shit. Fuck standard sometimes, you know? First off, I hate standard orc. Everything else standard I don't mind as much, but altogether, be unique. Be not original, because it's 2015, you're not going to be an original Warcraft player. It's not going to happen. But be unique in terms of switching your thing. Being more entertaining. You know, especially if it's a, a big game on the line. I see Foggy do it all the time. I've seen 
Oh shit, I got a cast. Uh, Foggy versus Sonic. I put that in my notes uh, the other day. Actually, when I saw the game, games, Foggy versus Sonic. So expect that from me. I'm gonna. I'm going to get that downloaded, and I'm going to play those games, and that's going to happen at some point. So as you see right now, Ancient of Wars going ham on that Moonwell. Moonwell's going down, and with that Moonwell going down, that Demon Hunter can't rejuvenate. So every damage that that Demon Hunter's taking right now, which is actually a decent amount when he doesn't have another Moonwell anywhere. Okay. Here, here we go. We got a Moonwell coming out over here. That's a lot of damage to take on your hero, buddy. See, you're not a Night Elf player, and he decided to go Night Elf Mirror. He's a human player. He was a successful human player. He beat NCBS not once in a best of five. Twice in, like, three games. He beat him twice in three games. So he won the best out of three. And then decided to go Night Elf. Instead of putting the final... But I think I know why he did it. A lot of people do it because uh, they might have a weakness that is close to being exposed. I do it sometimes when I'm like, oh fuck, this guy really almost, you know, I mean, he figured me out. Right? He almost got me. Sometimes I do it. You're going to lose your ancients. So he's going Tinker. I don't know why he does this. Why he goes Tinker with Ancient of Wars. It's actually not even that powerful. Like, I would rather go Demon Hunter. I would. I would most rather go Demon Hunter. But he likes to do this. He likes to go this Tinker route. You know, very slow, small damage. You have this Pocket Factory, which actually does a decent amount of damage. I mean, uh, it's not game changing. You know, I'd much rather have a Demon Hunter and just micro him away from the Ancient and uh, kill his Demon Hunter. You're not going to kill his Demon Hunter with a Tinker. Tinker only kills Demon Hunter at level 6. And Demon Hunter's, you know, level 1 through 4. And I still think the Demon Hunter wins. <laughs> trying to figure that out in my head. But, so... Flood USA was able to get up those Ancient of War right in time. Tinker in a very bad spot right now. So that was uh, semi okay because generally right now he doesn't need his Ancient Altar of Elders right now. What he does need is more moon wells. So moon wells are still being constructed. And it looks like Huntresses from NCBS. But we also have Huntresses from Flood USA coming. Okay, you literally got to give me 10 seconds. Was that 10 seconds? Probably closer to 20. I don't know. Alright, so a lot of Wisps coming here to repair this Ancient of War, which isn't doing much damage, and that Tinker is in a very bad spot. Um, he is in no position to be harassing. And that's the only thing I, I didn't understand about NCBS. He's down right now. He tried his attempt, and that's cool. You can even do that anytime. Game one, two, three, four, anytime. Five, even. Do it. Why not? But what I don't understand is why you go fucking Tinker. Demon Hunter rapes Tinker. Don't you don't you take units and I mean hero into account when you're going up against the hero? Like uh ultimately, like you always go Death Knight is undead. You always go Blade Master is orc. 
Uh, and you also go generally Archmage versus Night Elf. All these versus Night Elf. Why do you go Tinker in a mirror? You go Demon Hunter. You go Demon Hunter. You mana burn each other. It's equal out. It's micro ward. Um, when you put the Tinker in, in, in play and you can't even get your stupid pocket factory out, what the fuck good are you? You're getting mana burned, and this guy, if he gets tier 3, even with all them uh, Ancient of Wars, I think he does it out of fun. So I'm not criticizing him. He's definitely trying to do it out of fun. Because I actually really like Tinker. If you watch my 4 vs 4 games, I go Tinker a lot. Like, Tinker isn't my go-to hero by any means, but he's my let's fuck around. You know? Depends on the map. And, but he's my 4 vs 4 guy. Or my 1 vs 1 uh, Night Elf vs. Orc, third hero. And as you've seen in the past, even Baza used it as a, uh, a tier 2 push with Orc. And he's been very successful with it, somehow or another. Not that he even does much. It's almost like it's not even there. But it's, he's been successful with it somehow. You know, against human or... I think he's been successful versus Night Elf. He's been successful, and I, I actually want to see that more. I don't like standard shit. You know what I'm saying? Standard's boring, and that's exactly why I want to do that Night Elf versus Night Elf, Sonic versus Foggy game, games. It was a series, best of three. Not this past Jero Cup, but the Jero Cup before it, so two weeks ago. Where's it last week? I don't remember. I get drunk on the weekends. It's all a blur. It's not like I'm drinking juice in this cup. It's just all rum, basically. So NCBS with that tower, a lot of damage. But, Tinker's level 1. And the Tinker's not doing shit. Literally, not doing shit. In fact, it's gonna die. Because Tinker's actually a slow unit. Even with Boots of Speed, Demon Hunter's faster. Actually, he's finally level 2. Maybe he got the upgrade. If you get that first upgrade, you're as fast as Demon Hunter. Which is uh, that robotic gear thing. You know, the there's Pocket Factory. Then there's the uh, Pocket Rockets. And then there's the um, circuitry upgrade. That was a shot in the dark. If I was right, you know, great to be me. All right, so we are doing the Huntress Glade Forward combo from Flood USA and also from NCBS. But NCBS is in a very, very, very bad situation. Very bad. Because these Glade Throwers aren't doing much and Tinker and very 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 low hit point units not doing much now great job by NCBS in terms of uh, making sure these units survive very 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 bad situation he's not gonna lose these units but he's not even throwing down a pocket factory he's just gonna let his hero take I mean that's cool And he's creeping a creep camp that it doesn't have poison arrows hitting everybody. Because if that one fucking knoll, whatever, or whatever unit it is that would do that, you know, just hit unit after unit with fucking poison things, you know, he'd be fucked. <laughs> it just takes one unit and all those fuckers would have been done. So right now, Flood USA, two games to one. If he takes this game, he takes the series. Level four in that Demon Hunter, I don't think a level two Tinker is going to be doing it right now. Level three Tinker, sorry. But he has a decent army. I mean, you can try this. Uh, there is an enemy Ancient Protector. Just one of them is all you need. 
but two, three, four of them, you know, the more the better. Those actually do a lot of damage against Huntress. People, some people underestimate them, even clay throwers. That's like, first off, unarmored gets extra damage versus siege and piercing. Okay, that's NCBS throwing all those uh, illusions out there. And we have an Ancient Protector of his own, but it's a little late. I mean, we'll see what happens here. NCBS definitely getting rocked whenever he gets his Huntresses close to those five glades. Five glades? Just fucking up everything, man. Level 5 Demon Hunter? Fuck out of here, you lost. Just in those hero levels alone, it's, it's GG. You know, he's not even doing much damage. Got the Ancient Protector down. Kind of, yeah, he's, I thought he upgraded his armor or something. Alright, so NCBS 1-0 upgrades versus 0-0. Nothing, nothing. Upgrades. Trying to attack hardcore, and this is actually a good time to do so, but that Demon Hunter is just too powerful right now. I think that Demon Hunter alone can fuck up the whole army. I mean, I can prove it. I mean, I can do it. <laughs> uh, you let your moon ball go before using soaking it up. Tinker on the prowl, though. Folks seen that Tinker at this point. He sells boots of speed. Yeah, he sold his boots of speed. Did he have one? Am I tripping? I could have sworn he had one. So he picked that up without throwing down both of these. That's a lot of... He could have had full hit points right now on that Demon Hunter. But he didn't drop these two. Uh, the, the plus nine strength. Why don't you focus on the... Hmm, man. Things that are crucial he's not doing right now. Tree of Ages. He's getting out archers, which is good. You, In this situation, because again, piercing does more damage against uh, Melonets there, the uh, goddamn Huntress. <laughs> not thinking right now. I, don't, I really don't like casting four games at a time. It's not my thing. But we'll do it anyways, because I'll be kind of sort of casting all night. So Flood USA is really fucking up here. Um, Tinker should be level 5 Tinker. Should be out in play any second now. So actually, this is good play. What was I saying about that level 6 Tinker? Okay, that's a huge mana burn. He's not going to get another Goblin Factory after another mana burn. He needs to get out of there. He's getting mana burn. Did I say Goblin Factory? Or did I say Pocket Factory? So I was thinking Pocket, but I think I might have said Goblin. You decide. Demon Hunter barely holding on a thread. Um. Now, this is the last move. He finally dumped those. Okay, so right now, there's a lot of moon walls versus none. So, NCBS is actually winning this by a long shot. He's winning this. He's taking everything now. Level 6 Demon Hunter. Oh, uh, and this might be the telltale tale sign. He needs to stop him in terms of, uh, I mean, Flood USA. He needs to kill him now. Because if he doesn't kill him right the fuck now, 
Oh, that Tinker is going too far. He should have just let Sunchos do it. Get out of there, Tinker. Tinker, get out of there. Tinker, get out of there, buddy. Get the fuck out of there, buddy. Let him waste this shit. Okay, you actually got a decent army. So, kill all the archers. Yeah, why not? I mean, how much is that demon hunter going to get stronger? Okay, that Tinker needs to get out of there. Let's see what items you got. Boots of speed. That's good. Yeah, you need to get out of there. Get out of there. Heal up 100%. Oh, you're out of moon juice too. And if you use that thing, uh, you use that item, Moonstone, you know, you're basically helping out your opponent as well. So I don't think that's a good decision. Tier 2 versus Tier 1. And as we can see, that Demon Hunter is very powerful right now. I think NCBS is doing more, more or less an all-in right now. In terms of uh, why is this Tinker still out there? When that Tinker should be backing the fuck off. There it goes. Get the fuck out of there. Okay, so NCBS is microing well. And that Tinker might get level 6 if this keeps up. So this is actually a pretty good mirror match. But... I'm trying to figure this out right now. The Demon Hunter can heal. Not much. Hunter game. So we're still getting upgrades from NCBS. He's at 49 over 50 versus 19 over 50. So I'm going to assume that NCBS, it's a big army, but you need to heal up the units. I thought archers were good. <laughs> that's, that's the beginning shit. Now he does have the extra scroll healing. He might even go up here to even get a third, even a fourth scroll healing. Because that could go a long way on these Huntresses. This is a lot of Huntresses. And because of staying Tier 1, he saved a lot of resources. And NCBS is basically saying exactly what I'm saying. Level 60H, though! That Demon Hunter motherfucking Imba! And we'll see. It's a lot of Huntresses. Uh, you can surround. You can attempt to surround. Definitely gonna kill that melon head over there that decided to come out. Yeah. So here we go with the engagement. This might be the final engagement. And it is level six on that tinker. With level six. Man, I was even saying, you know, you ain't powerful, powerful until you're level six. Once you're level 6, man, of course, actually, you might take extra damage from from the chaos, no? Alright, don't look at the better score, it's 2 to 2, I don't have a game 5, they didn't play a game 5, and Flood USA bullshitted that last time. So I'm st not to mention NCBS bullshitted at least two of those games, you know, and actually one of those bullshitters he won. But Flood USA switched his race, went Night Elf. Clearly not a Night Elf player. Um, not clear. I mean, he went standard. It just he's probably stronger human. Um, I just want to point that out there that this was a good game and. Um, Have fun with my viewers. Oh, somebody's casting me? I didn't notice that. Alright, so, uh... NCBS, zero to zero heroes killed in this game. It was pretty epic. Same amount of items. One mercenary by NCBS. 
basically the same exact experience. This was a pretty fucking close game. How do you expect Tinker to beat Team Hunter? After that horrible start where, you know, just Team Hunter just got fed and fed and fed. Well, the only reason he came ahead was because you had a fucking decent Night Elf player going up against a decent human player playing an off race. Hmm. It's my story. I'm sticking to it. If there's a game five, you know, like I said, that was like months ago, and uh, I don't think Flood USA plays anymore, so don't expect it. However, it's pretty cool. Alright, well, good luck, have fun, good game, and I'm trying to figure out how the fuck I get to my OBS. There it is. <laughs> Alright. Peace, y'all.